Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel or for those that are new, a welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing you guys a really quick first impressions video on this new product that I picked up while I was in Whole Foods. It is the Alba Botanica Hydration Sensation Micellar Cleanser um, with a blue lotus flower water. And that's it right there. As I mentioned, I did pick it up while I was perusing the skincare section while I was in Whole Foods and I really was interested in this product for a few different reasons. Um, the first reason is because I am an Alba Botanica fan. I have used some of their skincare before but the particular products I used was from their pineapple line I believe. I will try and link the specific products I'm talking about down below if I can. Um, I used their cleanser before as well as their moisturizer and I really liked it when I used it. It smelled great and it did a pretty good job of cleansing my skin and leaving it moisturized. Another reason why I was interested in picking up this product is because it has no parabens in it, no phthalates or any synthetic fragrances and it also is full of 100% vegetarian ingredients. It is gentle enough for sensitive skin and as I've mentioned before, I do have sensitive skin, so I was definitely interested in the product because of those reasons. Uh, and I'm also interested in moving toward more clean beauty products as well. So I thought, hey, what the heck, I'd try it. Um, I believe when I bought it at Whole Foods, it retailed for, I want to say either $10.99 or $11.99. Not 100% sure on that, but I will try and link it below regardless. But I was definitely very interested in trying the product because of those reasons. So this is going to be my first impression on this. I do want to go ahead and show you guys the consistency of it. And I'll try and pour out just a little bit. I don't want to waste too much of the product, but that is it. It is a foam consistency. Rubbing it together does feel very, very smooth. So I am going to step off camera for just a second and wet my face. And then we're going to go ahead and work this cleanser on in. All right, so now that my face is completely drenched, I'm gonna take about that much of the cleanser, rub it in. And just off of first impressions, no pun intended alone. I can tell you that although it is foamy, once you rub your hands together to get the consistency going, it does feel very, very creamy. And in rubbing it on my face, it feels that exact same way as well. And it feels really good. Um, another thing I'm noticing just right off the bat is it smells really great as well. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna continue rubbing this in and see how I feel. So I have completely patted my face dry as you can see. And I'm just making sure that everything is completely saturated and gone. And one thing I can tell you right off the bat is my face feels really, really good. It feels clean, most importantly. Um, and it also feels very soft to the touch as well. So I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my nighttime cleanser, the normal one that I always use, my Mary Kay Age Minimize 3D Night Cream. And then I'm also going to use my same regular night cream that or eye cream I should say that I always use by Mary Kay as well um, it is their age minimizer or minimized eye cream got a little too much all right so 
why I am rubbing that in, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know my final, or at least my opinion on my first impression of this product. So, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, just right off the bat in using it this first go round, that I believe I'm really going to like this product. It may even become a staple of mine along with my Mary Kay cleanser. As I just mentioned, my face feels extremely clean. It feels very soft to the touch. It still has some moisture to it. The cleanser did not completely dry out my skin as some cleansers may do when they get it super, super, super clean. It's still clean. Sorry, I used too much eye cream this time. But it is super, super clean um, without it feeling dry to the bone. So, I definitely do think that I'm going to like this product. And I definitely do think that you guys should go out and try this Alba Botanica Hydration Sensation if you do see it um, in your local store as well. And let me know what you think down in the comments if you have tried it or if you do plan on trying it, definitely let me know what you think. I am very interested in trying this entire hydration sensation line um, together. So um, in a few weeks, I may go ahead and go back to Whole Foods and actually buy the eye cream as well as the cleanser and try them all together to see how I feel. But until then, I'm definitely going to keep using this cleanser and I will come back to you in a few weeks or so and let you know my final review. But as of right now, things are definitely, definitely looking like they're going in a great direction with this product. With that being said, I do want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, don't forget to like the video. Also, make sure that you leave me a comment down below, as I said, and let me know, have you ever tried Alba Botanica's products? Do you ever plan on trying them? If you have, as I mentioned, have you ever tried this product or any of the other products in the Hydration Sensation line? And also, along with those comments, Make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell down below if you are already subscribed. That way you can stay up to date on my content. But until the next time, I will see you beautiful people a bit later. Peace out.